Straight the corner, buy a rover, crack inside my grandma sofa. Sunday family coming over. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel where I give you guys uh, some Dallas Cowboy news, or at least I try to give you Dallas Cowboy news. So, uh, today's uh, topic something very interesting that happened yesterday. So, uh, with Lucky Whitehead's uh, incident, apparently they uh, they dropped his case because he was uh, not the right guy. So uh, apparently the cops uh, they got the the wrong guy and they blamed Lucky for uh, some weird reason. Well, they blamed Lucky and that's why they went over to the the camp and then took him. But then uh, I guess today they. They found out that uh, that he's not actually the right guy, and the right guy's uh, I don't know some other guy, I guess. Apparently, um, this right here, Whitehead's plane ticket showed he was in Dallas at the time of the alleged thief, which occurred at a Wawa convenience store. Wife Whitehead's flight then landed in Washington D.C. ten hours after the incident. So, it, it showed in his plane ticket that. That he that he was in Dallas during the, the 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 theft, so they they still didn't believe him, and uh, yeah, that's that. They falsely accused him. They caught the wrong guy, and that that must suck, you know, fucking security or whatever going to your practice be like, oh yeah, uh, you're in the rest for uh, shoplifting. And you're like, what shoplifting? Where and you know it must it must suck for him you know it's, it's it sucks it cost him his job you know uh, if I don't think if this would have happened they would have not let him go but maybe they would have because of Ryan Switzer but yeah they they let him go for something that he didn't do but that's that's pretty sucks and now he's gonna he's gonna want to get revenge on the Cowboys so we'll see what team picks him up and yeah, I'm pretty sure he he doesn't like the Cowboys that much because they didn't believe him. I'm pretty sure uh, some players probably did believe him. Some people didn't believe him and said he was a shoplifter. I mean, I I actually believed it when I read it. So you know, my bad, Lucky, for uh, for thinking that you actually did that. I mean, I don't know. I was just reading it. So that's that. Uh, wrong person took Lucky Whitehead. Accused him of something he didn't do. Yeah, it's pretty sad. So we'll see what uh, Lucky Whitehead does this season with the team that picks him up. I'm pretty sure they'll pick him up. Uh, he's he's talented, you know. He just wasn't doing anything for us. Maybe because it was too early in his career to do anything good. But we'll see. So um, I got the, the text right here. Talking about the situation. So I'll put it up. And you can just pause it and read it. Because... Uh, yeah, I'll just put it up there. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. Catching the wrong guy. And then cost him, costed him his job with the Dallas Cowboys, one of the best organizations in the NFL, because he wasn't the right guy. So that's it for today with today's news for the Cowboys. And I'll see you guys uh, whenever there's more news. All right, peace. Straight the corner, buy a rover. Crack and sat my grandma sofa. Sunday family coming over.
Straight to Kona, buy a rover, crack inside my grandma's sofa. Sunday family coming over.